And we're back, everybody, with more Greedfall. Uh, no, can't go that way. That was weird. Did you see that? Yeah, there's like some weird shading going on. Uh, anyways, so we gotta go find Elba's father. Just run into that lady. Let's see, he should be at the tavern. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation, and I have a few questions for you. Ask him about his daughter. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba. What a stupid name. Her real name is Clara. And yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Ask him if he has seen her. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? That's what thinks she's guilty. Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Nords. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Ask him about the sleuth. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. Yeah, we're done. I'll leave you, sir. He talked about Wench Shabian. The village of Katasach. There is a mine shakers camp nearby. Shall we go there? Yep. What do I have in my group? Let's go and see Okay, that's fine. That's what I want. Okay, uh, down here. I much rather like this that helmet versus the one I got on. Hundred and thirty two, that would probably be pretty dang good leveled up, man. Ooh, right there. From the last time I was up here. down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Let me... let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. 
give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Have mercy. I'm dying. I don't care. If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk! Where is the girl? This is surely the sleuth. And luckily, he's not found Albert yet. He's quest... Hey! Who goes there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. And I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Uh, order to release this prisoner. Your brutality must stop. I order you to release this man and leave immediately. I don't care about your orders. And since you want to interfere in my hunt, you will be Put poison on my blood. Then let's go! Let's breathe this poor man quickly. Armored necklace. Hm. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wenshavaye later on. Okie dokie. Oh wait, no one cares. Ah, you are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. I owe you so much, but you wanted to ask me questions? Alba. We're looking for a naught girl, the same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down, and they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. Or he led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your uh, notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? Nope. I must go. Goodbye. Really? This cave's used for all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> the poor girl. She must have been desperate to take refuge in there. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so they didn't really see know what it's from. Look, a camp. 
Maybe these are Albert's things. Oh, is it? Where is the camp at? Down there. to return to my father. Wait, something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. Spare her, duh. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then why are you here? We know you betrayed the Norts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder, and we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Nords are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. He worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors. And I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. Reuben used the mistrust of the volunteers to accuse her, and he used us to make her run away. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Serve to convince. Oh, I don't get to go back automatically. The enemy within. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But I looted all you guys. Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? Nope. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. A reward was put in your chest. Your 
Excellency. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? Ask about Captain Ruben. What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a knob. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be go. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But... <laughs> Never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? That'll be, I need it. To be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell then. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's going to sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof, doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. If he's a loner, would make sense he needs some company from time to time. And as captain, he must have the means. Yes, you are certainly right. Well, none of my business. Anything else? That'll do. I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. All right, so back to the brothel we go. Who am I supposed to talk to upstairs? Oh, Gretchen is right here. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. <laughs> Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. <clears throat> Offer her to become a courtesan? How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan. But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? <laughs> uh, talking about Reuben's relationships with other knots. Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. 
He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Recent behavior. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious too. His plans. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. This lad's a complete slime bag. How dare he be so ungrateful? It's my ship he's collected. But, alas, we still have nothing concrete. We should follow him tonight. You never know. Oh, we're going to follow him. We can see everything from here. Sit and wait. This looks so stupid. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a sneaky boy. You know he's going to the box to put something in it. My head's gone. Red-handed, the sellout. Shall we arrest him? Wait and see what he put in the box. We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. We should put the message in the box, so no one will know we've seen it. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. She'd want to know. Let's go.
Back and forth, back and forth. Hopefully this is the last side mission for a while. Desarde, what can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. Witness a secret meeting. Okay. Oh, stay close. It's an escort mission. At least there's no monsters up here this time. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. I can't believe it. This eel is selling us to the coin. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. got what he deserved is everything all right Mano? it's nothing sorry to have charged like that i got carried away i couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins do you want us to tend to your wound no i'll go back to port and get back on my feet find the documents we'll see you tomorrow thank you the three of you He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Alright, so skill points. Um... Attributes. I can finally get the strength now. Accuracy, willpower, mental power. Thought I had a point. I got one talent point. Um, science, lockpicking, intuition, or blacksmith craftsmanship. I'm gonna go with charisma. I can always go to the blacksmith to have him make stuff for me. So, thought I had attribute points, but I guess not. If I get them at level 31, two more levels. We're 29 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and finish this quest, hopefully. And then we'll continue in the next one. So if it goes over a little, that's fine.
to Sarde. I need to be go. Uh, I wish I could pass time. is it anyway you know what i'm just gonna end it i don't want to go over too much so go back to my house i'll rest i'll come back blah 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 anyway guys if you like this video be sure to hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet thanks for watching and as always i will catch you in the next one